is Kimpire lovers welcome back to my channel today I will be talking on how to make a baby glue soap and lightening of baby skin like recently I've been receiving text messages people requesting for products that will lighten their children I'll be like no, you don't need to lighten the skin of your child. Oh, I'm like, how long have you started noticing the, the changes in their complexion? Most of them will tell me after one year, after six months, some say after two weeks, or say immediately I gave birth to the, the child and I am fair. The fact your fair does it is not a monster you must give birth to a fair child, especially if the dad or one of the parents is dark. There's a tendency for the child to be dark. Like in my house, my dad is fair, my mom is dark, I'm on the dark side, my other siblings are fair. And my child is fair. His dad too is fair. So um it's not a must that because someone in your house is fair, your child must be fair. For that, you have to lighten the skin of that child. Dear mothers, please, let's keep this idea of lightening our child's skin off our mind. It is not good for them. All they need is for their skin to glow. Once their skin glows, and is hydrated you will see how beautiful that skin is so because of the request I said let me give out some a recipe on how to make your own glue soap at home for your babies so that um, you will see the effect on their skin you will know what and what is going into the, the into the soap whether it's safe or not so mothers please let's be careful of whatever we put on our baby's skin do not bleach or in the name of tone your child's skin it is wrong it will affect their skin in the future so for you to know the full recipe on how to make a baby glow soup why not stick to this channel give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you're not um, subscribed to it and watch this video to the end to get the full recipe so for our kiddies glow soap we'll need a, a ghana soap or you can use a black soap you can use a ghana soap you you can use a like 500 gram of it then you there's a soap called a kampala soap you add one to it then you have your honey your honey serves as a moisturizer and a, it, it is a humectant that will help the skin of your your your, your baby look um, very moisturized and hydrated so in this recipe we will be using a 200 ml of your honey all you need to do now now we're, we're making the base of this um, soap all you need to do is to grate your your black soap or your Ghana soap then you grate your Kampala soap you add your honey to it then you add your vegetable gracelin 100 ml you mix it mix it very well cover it keep it for like two days for it to soak after that you bring it out you add the follow following ingredient sorry I, I don't have access to most of these ingredients because we are we have coffee in plateau state due to the um stable um due to the crisis rather in plateau state so i couldn't lay my hands on the ingredients i couldn't bring them home to 
make the video so i decided to give out the recipe without making the video so after soaking all this uh, your black soap with the kampala and the honey and the vegetable graceling so you go ahead and add your cinnamon powder you add one tablespoon of your cinnamon powder then you add your neem powder then you uh, you're, you're using half teaspoon of your neem powder then you go for your camel powder your camel powder should be like two tablespoons then you have your sandalwood powder you add two, one tablespoon of your sandalwood powder you add your turmeric use two tablespoons of your turmeric i so much love turmeric because there's this um natural uh, um toning it it gives to the skin it it tones and uh, brighten the skin and it makes the skin glow so when you use all these natural things in your baby soap the, the skin of your baby comes out very beautiful as in you get this flawless moisturized results so you add the the the, the turmeric then you go ahead to add your your moisturizer that's your shea butter you add um, two tablespoons what we're using to share butter is to make the skin of the baby hydrated and to make it soft that's what we're using um uh, the share butter so i uh, the next ingredient on our list is um palm kernel oil i so much love palm kernel oil when i was growing up my my mom always uses um pancanel oil on my nephew's skin. You see how beautiful the skin of the baby. Uh, my nephew always comes out and is on the fair side. You see how glowing his skin is. And apart from the glowy uh, aspect, the pancanel oil helps your child in terms of health. The, you know, the, when when a child is growing up, you notice all this convulsion and whatever. Pancanel oil helps the child to be stable that is one of the strict secret my mom told me about pancanel oil so for you to know more on pancanel oil you can google on it so the palm you can add your pancanel oil two tablespoons then you add your almond oil you add a 50 ml of your almond oil then you add a, your carrot oil you add a, uh, 30 ml of your carrot oil then you can go ahead to add your aloe vera gel you can use fruit of the eggs you can add like two tablespoons the aloe vera gel helps to handle this uh, diapers rash and other blemishes you're going to have on the skin and it helps to hydrate their skin too so you can add palm kernel oil i'm uh, sorry palm oil yes most of our skin our baby skin uh, they have a very dry skin so palm kernel helps in exfoliating their skin so people be like oh why are you adding palm kernel to uh, um sorry um palm oil to your soap won't it stain no it won't it's a very very good recipe that you always add to your black soap if you want it to help to exfoliate it will help to moisturize the skin and it helps to heal the skin for those people that have a very a very bad skin when you add pan oil to your black soap it will help heal the skin very fast so this is a secret or a tip that i've given to you so by the time you incorporate all this um list that i've given on given to you to add to your black soap you mix it very well cover it after two days is it that you use your hand to mash it or you pound it you use it on your baby skin loveless loveless you will see how beautiful the skin of your child will come out you don't need to bleach your child i hope this few recipe i've given out will help our children glow not to bleach mothers please beware of bleaching creams it is not good for the skin of our babies don't forget to subscribe to our channel like our like and share our video 
God bless you and you have a lovely Sunday. Love you.